So now let's do some quick sketches of quadratic functions. And we're going to learn about how to shift these around on the xy axes. So let's start with f of x equals x squared. So the basic shape is this u-like shape we call a parabola. When it's just f of x equals x squared, by the way, if you don't like f of x, remember, that's just our fancy new name for y. So f of x equals x squared. It looks like a parabola. This point right here is called the vertex. And what we're going to learn how to do now is move that vertex all around in the plane. So the first one we're going to do, g of x equals x minus 2 quantity squared. If you have a minus 2 inside the parentheses with the x, that's a move left or right. So inside, g and h here have numbers inside the parentheses with the x. Those are shifts left or right. It's not intuitive. In fact, it's counterintuitive. The minus moves my parabola right to. So I take it where it used to be, and I just move it right to spaces, and I draw the exact same picture. If I have a plus inside, that actually moves it left three spaces. And then I draw the exact same picture. So the vertex for h is the point negative 3, 0. For k, this time it's x squared, and then you add 4. So what this does, when the plus 4 or the plus a number is outside of the squaring, happens after the squaring, we're going to move up 4. So we're going to take, again, that same parabola we started with and move it up 4 spaces on the y-axis. Versus m of x equals x squared minus 4. This time I have a minus 4 outside. So that's going to take that same parabola and move it down four spaces. So again, inside, before you square it, moves it left or right. Negatives move right, positives move left. Outside of the squaring, moves it up or down. Positive moves up, negative moves down.